I'm Jagir and today's video I'm going to cover with you how crypto is changing the world as we see it today. The way the internet revolutionized the world, we are seeing that happen again right underneath our noses. The way the automobile and the industrial revolution revolutionized the world, we are seeing the same thing with crypto and blockchain. But this time we are at the beginning and you are at the beginning meaning there is massive opportunity to really leverage this space. Now, if you're thinking, who is this guy? I'm Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of the book, The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. I wanna give you nuggets of wisdom in layman's terms so you can get up to speed with crypto, blockchain, and how to get involved as a user of the tech, but also as an investor of the tech. If you like today's lesson, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, because I want to bring these nuggets of wisdom to you on a daily basis. So Buckminster Fuller, he says, you never change things by fighting existing reality, the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. One more time. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. So the best example that I kind of refer to with my students, especially, I say, just think of blockbuster videos, right? It was the old world where physical locations was the thing. And it was a rental model. You had your VHS cassettes. If you remember, you would go drive down to the store or walk to your local store, walk in, shop around, literally take the VHS cassette, pay three pounds, five pounds, whatever the price was. You take it home, you put it into a VHS cassette player, and then when you're ready to return it, it has to be within three days. You have to make sure you rewind the tape, otherwise you get a fine. You have to go down, you have to post it through their little mini letterbox and so on and so forth. Cumbersome, right? But at the time it was amazing. But then it became obsolete, why? Because this amazing new company came on board which is called Netflix. Their first disruption was online, click a few buttons and we'll post you the DVD through the post and it'll come through your mailbox so you no longer have to go to the store. And then when broadband and internet was fast enough and the adoption was high enough, they went to online streaming. And today, think about it, you have a Netflix button, it's so convenient, on your remote, more than likely, or it's on your application, on your phone, on your tablet, and you click that button and you can watch your movies with a couple of clicks. So the innovation, that literally, to change things, never change things by finding the existing reality. So we don't wanna buy, build another VHS rental model in terms of stores to change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. So Netflix made blockbuster video obsolete, right? And that's really important. Like it's not in existence today because it was a better way of doing something. It's faster, it's cheaper, it's more convenient. There's so many benefits of Netflix over blockbuster video. Now blockbuster video at the time actually had an opportunity to buy Netflix for around 50 million and they were competing with them online, with online streaming, but they decided to stick with the old, which is the franchise model, the physical stores, the VHS and DVDs that people are physically coming into the store, and it didn't work out for them, right? And Netflix is now the dominant player and it's disrupting the whole space on a whole new level. Why am I talking about blockbuster video and Netflix? Do you get why, why are you talking about this? I'm here to learn about crypto, about blockchain. How do I make some money in this space as an investor, a retail investor? I got a great question because the exact same thing is happening again. But rather than it being the internet disrupting physical stores, like the way Amazon disrupted initially bookstores and now everything because it's more convenient and you get things into your doorstep, blockchain is in crypto is disrupting things that require trust like banks right blockchain give you better interest rate you can have more liquidity and you don't have to go through this tedious process of you know getting approved and so on and so forth you can do it direct on the blockchain without no middleman so it's a better way so blockchain like this couldn't be more true for blockchain so you never change things by finding the existing reality to change something, build a new model. Blockchain is the new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Why would you go for a middleman when you can go direct, right? So that's what you're gonna see. You're, you're, we're seeing it already. People are lending and borrowing on the blockchain already. Why? Because it's cheaper, faster, and there's less headache, 
people are now putting their money as savings on the blockchain. Why? Because again, 8%, 20%, 50% interest rates where the bank saving account, banking saving account is giving them less than 1%. And you have instant access. So there's all these new use cases coming on. And Netflix was one of the use cases on the internet that was very disruptive to something like Blockbuster Video made it obsolete. In crypto, in blockchain, this new technology is a simple concept, but it now enables us to, to transfer value, money, monetary value, without a middle party of trust. So now just think about property, right? Have you bought a property before? Right, you have to get your surveyors out, you gotta get the solicitors, you gotta go through this tedious process, and there's maybe, what, six weeks to get your mortgage, three months, nine months, to get your mortgage approved, and you have to go through all this, now this is happening on the blockchain, early stages, but now you can get mortgages on the blockchain and it's within five minutes. It's like that, it's like that, right? You do lending and borrowing on the blockchain, but it'll normally take months, you can do it in minutes, right? So this is happening. Now when this kind of disruption happens, imagine if you had the opportunity to invest in Netflix in its early, early, early stages whilst it was causing this disruption and what was gonna come. Well now, that you wouldn't have had that possibility with Netflix. But with crypto, with decentralized exchanges, with IDOs, initial DEX offerings, which I covered in a previous lesson, you have the opportunity to get involved. So this change is happening with or without you. The train is moving with or without you. So it's about you taking the time to learn, get up to speed because the internet is here to stay and so is the blockchain. But we're at the early adoption phase and there's a huge opportunity. So if you like today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you want to speed up your learning curve and get up to speed on a higher level, take my free crypto masterclass, how to fund your retirement. I cover everything from literally the technology to how to get involved, how to buy, and all the way down to how to do risk management in terms of minimize your risk and maximize your upside so you have peace of mind that you're doing things with best practices. All right, I will see you soon in one of my future videos.